Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to take a measurement for run out with a dial gauge. In the previous video I explained how to read the dial gauge and uh, I have here an axle on the table. Uh, its bearings have been removed, its wheel spacers have been removed and it's, uh, it came off a used motorcycle which uh, which actually looks stained. The staining is surface corrosion. I want to know if this axle is still straight or is it so old and so corroded that it's maybe out of, out of straight. I need my wheels to run at dead straight and dead on center. Uh, any kind of sideways wheel shimmy, particularly at high speed, is just suicidal on a motorcycle. So. To take this measurement, what I need is my dial gauge, and uh, what I also need is this uh, sophisticated test block here that's made out of a used skill saw blade with a V notch at both of its ends that fits the length of this axle. Now, at the end of the axle here, I have a slight notch here that's there, just wait for the camera to focus. There, that slight notch. I don't want that slight notch to be in the V-gap here. I want it just like so, so I don't want to fall into that little gap there. And I don't want to lose the end here. I don't want to be running on the thread because it will throw off my measurements as well. So, this way, when I rotate the axle, you can see it is indeed rotating. That's why I chose an axle with staining on it, so you can see its rotation. What you need to do is grab your dial gauge and set it up in a manner that the uh, probe is square to the surface of the axle or the piece you're measuring. If it's, if it's off or something, it's going to slip off. It's not good, so it's going to be, it's going to have to be square uh, both ways. Square also this way, please, preferably, but, but that's negotiable a little bit. But it, if it slips off like that, that's, that's bad. So, there, I set it up there, and it doesn't matter really where the needle is pointing because, as I said, these, uh, this dial gauge takes an absolute measurement, sorry, takes a relative measurement, so you can, you can start measuring whatever you feel like. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the uh, dials there. It's going through zero, yeah. It, not zero, 80, I mean, uh, the needle is going through 80 as is. So let's start there and uh, let's see what we've got here for axle run out. I'm going to rotate this axle slowly. That's one thousandth of an inch. You know, if I put my hand on the table, seriously, it's, it's, it's already jumping two, three, four thousand, okay, of an inch. So I'm going to put as little as possible as, as little as possible weight on the axle because if I push down on it it looks like it's got a it's got a wobble in it when it actually in fact it doesn't have any so okay let's get back to 80 there and I'm gonna start rotating it it's at 79 79 rotate a little bit 79 79 still at 79 79 still at 79 okay that's pretty much still at 79 okay it jumps back to 79 uh, all the time throughout one full rotation of the axle so my conclusion is this axle is dead straight I'm measuring run out on its middle because or roughly so because that's where the uh, if this wasn't straight that's where I expect the greatest amount of uh, out of uh, out of straightness or out of roundness the axle is supported uh, with these bearings here towards the end here and here so when things bend between between uh, these two points I expect the greatest uh, degree of bend there. So that's why I checked this axle on its middle. 
And uh, in this setup, I know you can't see the numbers, I can get a little closer. But uh, say if we start there and keep the axle rotating, you can see that the needle on the dial indicator is not really moving anywhere there. Oops, okay, now it's slipping off. There. So that's how you take a measurement carefully and like I said any kind of pressure on it is changing your measurement so go slowly and carefully there and it's slipping off again. So but basically that would be the idea how to check an axle for run out and this one is checking out all right.